Hi, this is Dave Lyons from Ravencrest Books. A few months ago, we published a non-fiction book called Die in Paris by author Marilyn Z. Tomlins about a serial killer that you probably never heard of. What makes the story of Dr. Marcel Pitiot unique is that he murdered in Nazi-occupied Paris in the 1940s. This man abused his position of trust as a medical doctor, offering an escape route for Jews whose most likely destiny was transportation to a German concentration camp. However, there was no escape route. Pitio took their money, their furs, their jewellery, and then murdered up to 200 of them in his Paris townhouse. Ironically, he was imprisoned and tortured by the Gestapo, not for the murders, which were only discovered in 1944, but for running an illegal escape route, which of course he wasn't. Why does this matter to us, 70 years on? Well, this story is part of the history of the Holocaust, an event which we should never be allowed to forget. The point is that Pitio was only able to get away with his crimes because of the Holocaust, an event sponsored by Nazi Germany with the support and acquiescence of the Vichy France government. He was, in effect, a parasite of the Holocaust. So what did we want to achieve? The book has been published in paperback and as an e-book on Amazon in English only. Marilyn and I consider that this is a story that should be told to all people regardless of their native language. So we plan to translate the book into a number of foreign languages. Our initial aim is to produce a Latin American Spanish translation and this will cost £3,500. That is our target for this project. However, if we overachieve, then additional funds will be used for additional translations as shown below. We are offering some exciting rewards for you, including e-books and paperbacks signed by the author. At the higher levels, we offer some unique rewards based in Paris, including a guided tour of Paris by the author to locations where Dr. Pitio lived, murdered and was ultimately buried after being guillotined on May 25th, 1946. We are also offering two only special rewards which will award the donor the status of principal sponsor with prominent mentions as such in all the translated books. Die in Paris is of interest on many levels. The Holocaust, occupied Paris in World War II, the anatomy of a serial killer, the confused loyalties of the French population under occupation, where a policeman was a collaborator and a mass murderer was a self-styled resistance hero. But the ultimate message that still has resonance today and is applicable across all societies is that evil begets evil. We are feeling really positive about this project and Marilyn and I appeal to you for your support. Please donate generously, as due to Kickstarter rules, if we don't meet our goal of £3,500, then the project cannot proceed. You can follow our progress on our website, dieinparis.com. Thank you so much for listening, and thanks in advance from Marilyn and myself for your support.